Welcome to this episode of the Parkour Podcast PCAST. My name is Philipp, I'm from Parkour One in Germany and I had the opportunity to travel and talk to a lot of tracers. My guest in this episode is Boki. Boki is a parkour practitioner since 2003 and a parkour pioneer in Serbia. He's coaching in Belgrade and is one of the founders of the Parkour Serbia community. Bogdan often cooperates with foreign communities and is involved in workshops and lectures in Serbia and abroad. He graduated at the Faculty of Sports and Physical Education in Belgrade in Serbia. This podcast was recorded during the international gathering in August 2017 in Denmark. Check out the description. There are further links and timestamps for the questions so you can quick jump. Lean back and enjoy this episode of PCAST. Parkour. We can start where we, where we met. Yes, that's my, actually my first question. Um, I, I asked. <laughs> yeah, um, and I can't remember when we met. I think it was in Fontainebleau. Mm, was it before? No. I, I haven't been on MUBA. I, I was not on MUBA. You were not on MUBA, I remember. Be active, no. No. Really, Fontainebleau? When you, when you uh, drive bike to the... That can be possible. No, no, no. It was 2011, 12. 12. But I think, but I before, I think. Stud no, I'm not sure. I think it was in Fontainebleau. Honestly, I I felt it like I know you there. Yeah. <laughs> really, because yeah. You like, know, we cycling and then yeah. Yeah, just um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have some questions. Ah, you have a question. I have some questions. <laughs> just some gen general questions. Okay. Sure. But first, who are you? Well, you, may, you know, because yeah. we have a little bit of there, but just in the beginning, like yeah. I'm a know, human like, being. A human I'm a uh, Bogdan Cetković. I know you want. I'm a Bogdan Cetković. Um, I come from Serbia. Uh, Which city? Uh, Belgrade. Belgrade. Yes, Belgrade. I've been uh, yes uh, training for some time. Um, Meeting people for some time, teaching for some time. Yes. Yeah, finishing some studies. Your your studies for university? Yes, I finished sports and uh, physical education. Ah, so you're going to be a teacher? Mm, no, I can be, but I also at the same time have a, a degree in conditioning and like straight a training. Like personal trainer or like Not coach? Personal, yeah, like uh, conditioning and straight. Oh. Like, <laughs> I can be a teacher and also this, but uh, I prefer. Uh, I, yeah, I prefer doing what I do so. now. <laughs> okay, so maybe we will discover. So yes. in the beginning, do you want to have stupid questions? Always. Okay. So, who's the best tracer? One. One? Yes, this is, this is the answer. How, how is the question? <laughs> this is how is the answer. Okay, so, what's <laughs> your answer? No, right? I, I can, I, I right? can, no, but, okay. It's, it's just, I, yeah, I know. This is we great. Can, we can talk about why it's stupid. Yeah, I know, this is, this is, you probably want me to yeah. now explain uh, why I said one. And uh, exactly because the, uh, the, the question is, um, from the st when I start training, I, start, I always thought there is a, no the best because <laughs> because you cannot either measure, either compare the different human beings with different emotion, yeah. different uh, psychology, backgrounds different backgrounds, yeah. different yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us are special, yeah. you know, in a way of not a special but different. Maybe different, let's yeah. say different, unique. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Monkey. <laughs> I know, you know, this is really simple answer. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I know. You know, some some guy just asked me the question. True. So, um, <laughs> what was your most dangerous jump? Another stupid question. Mm, yeah, I do it every day. Yes, every day. Waking up, going to sleep. Most most dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, most dangerous is. Um, I don't use the word danger that much. Maybe more challenging jump. That would be interesting in a way of 
for for me personally, like like I would just change a little bit of question and then what is uh, because I can because this is a great yeah, yeah, talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, challenging and then uh, what is your the most challenging uh, uh, and I would say what I found out mm -hmm. that uh, now this is really like concrete direct is that changing uh, yourself not in a physical way but mental like habits like. Uh, like uh, self uh, conscious and self awareness, and then you need to, you know you get, and then you need to change something. That's I think the hardest, uh, mm -hmm. uh, hardest, hardest challenges. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I did some uh, challenges, psychology challenges, yeah. like um, not eating sweet for one year and something. For me, this is the hardest uh, yeah. jump. Mm -hmm. Then uh, doing uh, just whatever, just jump, yeah. and all, all also challenge like some. Now I would say stupid, but at that time it helped me to build a uh, mental yeah. thing. Like um, I went to gym to other city. I want to go. I need to go to the toilet, but I go in the bus to go back home. You know? Yes. Yes. Which is from the scientific part. I know. I learned it's stupid, but for the mental part, <laughs> so it was good. Okay. Honestly, but for the physical, like yeah. for my, uh, for my, uh, uh, I don't know how to say English. Yeah, it's not good. I know, <laughs> but I didn't do it like uh, twenty times. Yeah. you know, or thirty times. I tested. Okay. And um, yeah, like, mm, where's your favorite spot to train? This is my last question. Uh, well, my favorite people and my favorite people are everywhere. Everywhere. Because I don't, uh, I don't travel because of spots. Yeah. Maybe one. Dam du Lac was a special yeah. for the first time, yeah. as of a really unique, I don't know, I had feeling maybe because of the history and stuff and what I know, the stories and stuff, probably. Yeah. But beside that, uh, I'm not interested in spots, I don't have a favorite spot, I, I'm interested in people, I think that the people is, uh, or community or individual or whatever is the power of what we do. Yeah. So um, you were... When I was going to get, get the camera and the shit, I was I had one question for you, another question. Like what animal would you compare your parkour style, whatever, to? What, how do you feel when you do parkour? <laughs> <laughs> because I I had a an idea but I want to hear what what animal are you? I I think I have a feeling that I I um I mu mutate mutation, <laughs> mutation. <laughs> I mutate, yeah. Yes, mutate because um Maybe until um, last year, I moved in one way. I moved like uh, maybe uh, so yeah yeah. yeah uh, I moved, and some people told me this. Yeah. Uh, Roger, something like yeah. okay, you, I think you change, which is good, not too bad. Um, uh, because I have one type of training and stuff, and yeah. and it was more like um, let me say with some big animal like maybe elephant, not that elephant, but like. Like, like huge power. Yes, like tank. Yeah. <laughs> and now, because I lose some weight and because of change of training that I wanted to do and stuff, I'm more like um, uh, a little bit agile animal. Mm -hmm. A little bit more now than before. Before yeah. I was more like mm -hmm. not animal but like a tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? No, but it. Oh. But now it's more like. Um, mm, I also had in mind something with like real muscle, like a lot of power. But uh, what I mm -hmm. uh, today I saw you training again. Like I didn't saw you for a long time. And what I was impressed about is like I had the feeling like if you if you if you know what you want to do, you do it. Yes. Mm. Yes. And, and <laughs> for me, I, trying, yeah, I, yeah. I I I'm not um, strong in, in this kind. You know, like I was like ah oh, no, my head. No. Yeah, you go like, let's you, try you, go first. you know, like just yesterday when you climbed the pole, you know, you just like, <laughs> and you just, you, you stick to it. Or uh, yes. climbed yesterday, the two ledges, you stick to it. Yes. What, what, yes. What, what, okay, how, so how did you do this? Or yes. why is it? Like, I, I, why, are you special? Yeah. No. Okay. So. Uh, of course not. Uh, first, uh, from the beginning, I wanted, I wanted, I had this in mind. If you do something, <laughs> okay, so. This is a free psychic talk. You saw the um, video with, when I was in Switzerland with Roger 
and uh, Ramon and me training. You put this on Parkour One yeah, channel, yeah. okay? With the Mickey the, Mouse stuff. The push, push up and yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. so there is some. Mickey, it's called Mickey Mouse stuff with a reason because Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. This one video says, um, like said, like this. This is not serious. It's a Mickey Mouse stuff. Like the, for the people who are training something better. Uh, and like uh, either you do it or you don't do it, you know. Yeah. And this is like this is why with George I said like, Mickey Mouse stuff some stuff sometimes, because either I do it and yeah. I, like said I don't try I do. This is this yeah, is yeah, my yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. This can be done by training, yeah. but it's also approach. Mm -hmm. So the training you can do is okay. You are on the ground. You want to do uh, everything from the first time. Uh, mm. There is a method. Everyone yeah. can find out. It's not a problem. Approach is something differently. I had it in mind for a long time, at the beginning especially, but I was thinking this way, if I don't train, I can perform, which is bad. I, I don't if I don't train continuously, like if yeah. I made a break of three ah, days, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now it's a different. Maybe, like it's not the beginning, like a few years, but like six, seven, eight years yeah. I was thinking, and this is a long yeah. time. Now I, I had uh, I, I I did um, some workshops uh, and travel a lot with Labaka, yeah. and what was interesting that uh, the way how he taught one hundred percent, and for me it was like a reminder of this, mm -hmm. because for two two reasons. <clears throat> First is a workshop how he did, and it was I will explain just because I think it's mm -hmm. very very important. There was a, like um, it was inside like uh, where gymnastics do the female gymnastics do you know I don't know how it's called the beam beam yeah like this yeah. so it's a little so, high like this yeah high so yeah. it was here mats here yeah line here yeah. so you say okay he said okay do running and just jumping over it yeah. okay everyone someone jump wow jump and easier then come here and close your eyes yeah. and do the same ah uh, see do the same yeah. So now we are going to be equal, but if you don't run and give 100% the jump, you won't do it. Yeah. But if, if you give a 90, you will hit the, you know what I mean? Like because, but usually it's at 90, so usually people give like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 50, 80, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And if you really don't jump, you can try, <laughs> yeah. then you have a problem with blind eye hole, yeah. you know? <laughs> that, this is, that reminds me, like, not I forgot, but... Uh, to, to give everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, to, to yeah, all in. all the jump, you do. Yeah. Like, you know, of course, with the times come confidence to see, okay, I do this, I can do yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... Uh, I so often have to feel, of course, you know, I feel a jump and then I... Like, I did the swing today, mm -hmm. and then at some point I feel it, I know that I can do it. But I had... When I observe you, I, I feel like... You don't care, you know. You 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 force yourself like through it, you know. Uh, I do you push by, by yeah push yes. But I I did like a method like I said like from the first. Mm -hmm. I do also a lot of rep I did a lot of repetition, but I like, said a lot a lot. Yeah. So so now when I do something which is in my limits or there, mm -hmm. I can repeat. <laughs> yeah. Because of all the stuff. Yeah. That's the training part. Yeah. The approach part also one more thing. What what changed me the way how I think about the about the movement is also Danny, because we were together with almost one month, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, on this tour, uh, uh, how is it called? No, not it's, a, it's not that. It's not, no, 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 just just no. Just we went to do a workshop in Italy, then we yeah. back, traveled to Belgrade and to Istanbul, Egypt, yeah, and so, okay. but never mind. That's yeah, not important. Yeah. Important is that when I met him, yeah. he was injured like this. Yeah. So the the, the uh, so okay so it was something here while doing a roll nothing, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a you he couldn't, couldn't use the uh, yeah. like hand arm or yeah. whatever. So we were there. He didn't move that much. Maybe just a little. You know how you could do it. Yeah. Nothing. And then after two weeks, to in Zagreb. He uh, so in Belgrade he didn't move. We had a workshop in Zagreb. He. I asked him to, uh, so we do some shooting for our sponsors, blah, 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 if it's okay, for mine, not ours. And then um, he said, yeah, okay. And then he moved like there was no break. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Approach to the, op to the challenges, obstacles, it was the same. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was, it, it was for me to sit down and write. I didn't mm -hmm. talk with him because I usually 
try to you know do on my own my work instead mm -hmm. of that. but I was I, I learned from that I was like a lot yeah. like okay so what's the what's the Is what's this dedication yeah. I think it's a uh, it's a belief but uh, on a different levels yeah. maybe on a religion level yeah, maybe on yourself him, yeah. maybe on but but belief like yes that. and giving one hundred percent to it yeah you know because if you don't you, you can believe in yeah. anything you want but if you don't give one hundred percent doesn't I, work I, <laughs> yeah. a similar story I heard from you was like. Um, I think it was on some uh, Etrefort shooting with Sergio and there was a huge precision jump in the rain, it was wet somehow. I don't know if it's true, but I heard it. And Sergio was like, ah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then you, you just walk on the, come on, just do it. And, and you did this massive jump. Yes. And then that's, you know, like, that's what I just heard. That mm -hmm. you, it, you know, you, if you, you trust, somehow you trust yourself and then you, you do it. I don't know if it's true. It, it's true, the it story. isn't true, but it wasn't wet. It, it was, wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't ah, wet. Maybe it was wet on. Uh, but it wasn't raining. It or was anything, raining. Maybe or it was wet yeah, somehow. Maybe I can remember. Okay. Maybe it was slippery. You know? yeah. It doesn't matter. Is it slippery or wet or it doesn't matter? Yeah. Yeah. What you said is about uh, decision. Yeah. 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 <coughs> I think it's um, a lot about. Um, it's a lot about physical part and physical training and. Um, um, using the different methods, what I already tell, it's about uh, psychology preparation, motivation a lot to keep, because you need a motivation to keep training uh, yeah. like this strong, you know, and keep doing for years. Yeah. And it's not, it's hard, it's hard battle, I must say. And the approach to the obstacle, to be aware, to be aware what you can do, what you cannot yeah. do. This is, the, but I think continuity is something that is for training, as periodization and stuff, but also for a mind, it's yeah. good. Like the break is good. Yeah. Con like, and also the break at, at one point. Mm -hmm. And in, in sport, I mean, there is for a physical part something called super compensation, where you make a break and then after break yeah. everything goes up yeah. much more than yeah, blah blah blah. For, for a mind, it's also important what I found to take a um, break. Mm -hmm. By break doesn't mean to stop training, but yeah. don't push, relax, yeah. change training, experiment. Eh? Because if you constantly stress yourself, can I do it? Can yeah. I do it? Can I do it? Can yeah. I? It's not good for for us. I think yeah. I, I I feel that someone yeah everywhere every, I mean it happened to me all the time. Yeah. Like, it's you, you said like um, you know motivation is, is uh, you you have to stay motivated. You know, mm -hmm. for, if I talk for myself, in last winter I was. I nearly quit parkour. Mm -hmm. I somehow lost it, you know, like I, I didn't knew for what, what I, what I am training. So how, how, what's your goal? Yeah. Why do you train? Yeah. Why do you move? Why do you live? Yes. So when uh, I always, I will start again going in the past a little bit to explain you uh, something. Uh, when I started, I always wanted to be independent. Mm -hmm. This is very important. I didn't care if mm -hmm. someone is coming on training or not. It's a different if there is a people or not people, of course. But if I would call a friend and he said no, okay, I didn't go. I, I always ask myself why I, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you remember like parkour.net mm -hmm. and all the all the topic, what is parkour? That was, I think, the motivation at that time to make you think all the time think about oh, is it, oh what happened there oh, and then you work and is it okay that you get inspired and mm. you can go not only that mm -hmm. there is also the books the life in general whatever you know mm -hmm. that this is so for me it was this independence that um, that I think helped me that sometimes mm, I can stay on my way mm -hmm. David Bell says says between easy way and hard way, I choose the hard the way. Hard way. Uh, he, he can always go the easy way. Yes. So uh, for me, I was always motivated mm -hmm. to train <laughs> when it's hard. Mm -hmm. By that, in the real life, I mean when I have um, uh, like uh, a lot of uh, stuff to work and do, like for university, mm -hmm. like for a work or anything travel or anything and you don't have a time to train I'm motivated and I will go two in the morning to do training uh, if it's I train more in the winter than in the summer yeah like 
uh, I would make I make a difference between training and playing. We can yeah. we can write we can talk later. Yeah. But training, I do in the winter because I'm I don't know, but because it's hard, it's cold. It's, I'm more motivated. Yeah. Probably because it also give a change in your training. Yeah. Because it's different. It's snow. It's not snow. It's yeah. slippery. Not slippery. You need to change. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so I, I trained so a lot. I trained a lot in winter. Yeah. You know, but I, I was doing a lot of strength training, uh, barbell training. Climbing, but parkour or something? I don't know. But that's good, you know. I, I support change thing mm -hmm. a lot. I mm -hmm. think the key to stay in sports, in movement, is to explore and change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's we are not you we are not used to read one book, neither we are used to watch oh, always one. read the same book or yeah. <laughs> because yeah, this I always say I always say this with yeah. the books because uh, it is like this yeah. because parkour is. We must say that uh, it is form, in in a way of physical um, form, yeah. like like not like other sports, but I there is a form because there are principles that are used. So, if you don't break those principles, in a way, for example, you get a ball in your parkour training, mm -hmm. you will it's bo it will get boring. That's for mm -hmm. sure. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. really get uh, so changes change approach. This is what I tried. Mm -hmm. So I went to a spot, a regular spot, where I have like rails, 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 like this. Mm -hmm. So yes, you could go there and do a chair swing around. And I said, hmm, okay, let's change approach to the obstacle. And yes, you can, you can do use without one hand, mm -hmm. like but what was interesting for me for this spot is I put the tape and all around, mm -hmm. I put Funny. the tape, yeah, and then I started to move. So, uh, explore, go to climbing, mm -hmm. go to lifting, Go to there. The, I, yeah. you, 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 were, you were today, you remember? Yeah. Did, can you notice in the Sodebra, in a, how I catch up, how much, uh, maybe you could see how much climbing, free climbing could help? Yeah, like, yeah the one yeah, with the catching, yeah, sure. I didn't, didn't learn in pressure, parkour, uh, honestly. I didn't learn doing yeah. pre uh, repetition. I mm. changed, mm -hmm. changed the training. So when the motivation, lack of motivation, you should maybe force yourself to stay a little bit in parkour, like mm -hmm. in training, so, something, one hour, one hour. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, eh? enjoy, yeah. enjoy mm -hmm. for now, but then uh, do other stuff. Mm -hmm. It will transfer, it must. I think that any, neither any uh, scientific, real mm -hmm. scienti scientist, artist, in artist I mean musician, doesn't do only what he, um, live yeah, for yeah, only. Yeah, you yeah. need you need to you need do to philosophy, yeah. art. Mm. It's really important. This kind of uh, this kind of uh, to uh, it really influ for me. It really influenced. Like I read some some stuff about philosophy. And I said, whoa, you know, it makes me. Uh, so so for motivation because I'm really a lot of. Uh, Thinking about motivation in a way of not only for myself but awesome. for for helping others. Mm. I have idea for research why people come in parkour, why people the one who quit. Mm. I would like to know what is why why yeah. because but I, I think yeah you can come. Yeah, I didn't want to run through. Nah, that doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> this is really this doesn't matter. Is, um, so change in training is the one uh, ch change of. Like change anyway in a thinking way, you know, because I, I change approach with the ball, with the stick, with yeah, swimming is parkour. Why not? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, then it can help you to uh, to last, yeah. to be and to last. I don't think. But some, yeah, yeah. See? No, but some people quit. You know, many people who quit. <sighs> I think many, most of the people, more people quit than stay. Yeah. Like ten, uh, ten years ago, or yeah, ten years ago. If we can, yeah, thousands. Yes. Um, uh, why? You don't need to answer, but we can. I cannot talk, answer you. Know, like that's why I want to do a, for a example, research. research. Yeah. Yeah, you, you were talking. But about. I think is that uh, uh, the biggest problem is the freedom in parkour. Okay, mm -hmm. the freedom that the parkour is everything, mm -hmm. but the freedom that you can have a choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can e cho choose to train uh, okay. se se seven day, seven years, mostly the same, mm -hmm. mostly focusing on technique, mostly focus on movement, but not uh, work on sensitivity, 
working, uh, getting other equipment like yeah. I said, stick ball, yeah. uh, swimming, climbing. Yeah. I you saw how it felt, uh, like climbing only. You can imagine yeah, how much lifting if else. if you spend the time. It's not it's not enough to go. One. You can imagine how would dance because mm -hmm. I did something can uh, uh, help you in a movement yeah. expression yeah. Yeah. flow. Yeah. I'm also doing something which is not parkour, but it's above it. Yeah. It's expression of human body. Bruce Lee would say it's a. Uh, but I, it, for me, it's. I did once a workshop about this in yeah. in with parkour one in uh, okay. Switzerland, 24 hour workshop. Yeah. I was really surprised how people. It was really good. Yeah. But I'm not yet ready to do it. Um, to spread yeah. like uh, in workshops uh, because I think it needs time. Mm. Like really express without the form without okay going to do the i will did a little bit of research mm. about psychology and there mm. is something called you probably know flow state of mind mm. and this was interesting for me from the beginning is it flow from me you check, check me out yes yeah. and um the flow theory yeah yes it's more it's it's like this um first you need to do something for a longer time okay it's not possible that you don't know to play piano and do this okay this is important second thing um it's in sp it's you can do it in sport you can do it uh, in um, for example art or any other activity this happens in everyday life life uh, if you focus that much mm. that you actually don't think about what you do. Mm -hmm. So if you are improvising while playing piano, you cannot think is it C minor, D or whatever. Yeah, you you flow. Yes. I I felt it, I can honestly say I felt it this through the movement. The movement, yeah? Yes. Yeah, sometimes with parkour, I oh, honestly really sometimes for, it's really yes, hard for me. Yeah. Yes, and this is but this there is uh, I think you can practice this. Yeah, to let go, yeah, to yes. For example, when I don't practice this, yeah. it's very hard. And even I get it, I, I'm pushing to go in. Yeah. But it doesn't work. You know what the funny thing is about this? Because you said like um, the freedom of parkour, maybe for some people they quit because of this freedom. Yes. Yeah. And in the, you know, in December and last year, I felt it. Like it was exhausting for me to go training because I had all the freedom. You know, I didn't know what to do. Like because you have a million things to do. Yes. And um, so I like the structured thing with weightlifting. You put plates on. You go climbing, and someone said, "Go up there," and then and that's what I, I needed. You know, like just shut up, shut shut off my brain and do, yes. just do. Yes. And a friend of mine, like James Phil, you maybe you know him or some people know him. He he couldn't understand my answer. Why is it like? Why is it hard to, to train parkour? Because you know, for for him, it's like switch off his, his mind, and then he lets flow. For me, it's harder. Mm. I, I cannot let let flow or let go so easily. And you, you also teach regularly, and uh, what I have heard from you is that these experience workshops for Paco One, they have like a very long period of time, and you taught one of that, right? Five. Which was eight, nine hours? 24. 24? <laughs> yes. It was, it was aimed 24 hours together. But I think the state, the mind, uh, the flow, you know, the state of mind where you are in the flow is maybe in that format uh, very interesting because of at some point you just get into it and you continue 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 it was th the, the it was only one hour doing this uh, topic expression it's not parkour it's expression i i will really say this uh, it was experiment for me honestly but i know it was success because i was watching them i didn't train i was and i wanted to move and i started to move it this this is i felt i because i never did it i did it with the one people max two more you never did it with the i honestly i uh, like with the it was 13 people and it, it was big energy i felt it and i started to change for um i think we are all different mm -hmm. maybe also different approach to the everything mm -hmm. i think uh, uh there are some stuff we can um push in a, in a, like to a pet, uh, some will go, some will not, because it's also emotional and stuff like this, like it's not just one thing also, but um, um, only one, if you have one word 
about the motivation is change. Mm -hmm. uh, just because uh, trainings reflect on psychology and your thoughts and stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So if it's if on training it's not interesting, it's boring, doesn't have a sense mm -hmm. and stuff like this, neither would be motivation, psychology, mm -hmm. discipline or anything, you know? It can go also the opposite. I, I think also it is possible, but I use this because everyone loses motivation. Yeah. Uh, I have also one advice, one, mm -hmm. but advice. Um, um, keep moving, like even if you go to free climbing, even if you go to lifting, keep moving at least uh, three hours like uh, one hour on Monday, one hour on Wednesday, one hour on Friday, uh, moving in park, you know, because when you have, um, when you get back motivation, when you, the, like it's everything, puzzle come, you know, you have energy, bam, coming, growing, mm -hmm. whatever, it will be easier for you, much more easier and better than you just uh, stopped. Yeah. And then, like in, yeah, no, like, like you're, in, you're, you're, you're rolling, you know, like. Continuity in training. Yeah. Yeah, I think I understand what you mean. Yes, yeah. this is yeah. just, but because I know you could push, your, because sometimes I push myself to go on training also. That's, mm -hmm. it's not normal, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, not because it's uh, winter, or, uh, <laughs> but just like you said, it's, uh, mm -hmm. there is a freedom also, you know, what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, that's the biggest, like, goals. Like, what can, everything can be a goal. That's mm -hmm. a little bit, that's the sort we do for parkour. Mm -hmm. And. Like you can, you can be a, you can, I said, okay, painter. If you don't have a knowledge, you, and you have a freedom to whatever, but whatever. without sense. Mm -hmm. But doing something without sense. Yeah. And this is, this is a good way, like I talk a lot, but you, is it, um, I see training and playing, mm -hmm. two different stuff yeah. for me. Uh, playing would be, let's go out, uh, do this challenge, let's go, whatever, challenge can be 100 push-ups or jump or yeah. what, whatever. And training is training for something, yeah, for, yeah. for a real goal, a long yeah. period of time or whatever. Mm -hmm. For that, that can be working on force, for, uh, so you can uh, uh, f uh, uh, like a force, like a work on strength. Uh, like for explosive, yeah, for example, yeah, yeah. or doing antagonist because yeah, yeah. you wanna, you know, this is a training, yeah. or you wanna have endurance, or you wanna do some uh, jump. You have some, especially at the beginning, you know, like David said, like okay, uh, there is a wall to my meet, I can do it. Okay, I don't go and cry, I go there and I find the way I can, I do, 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 and I go back. That's a training. That's a bit different with trying stuff which I don't do that much, as you mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. and uh, doing them yeah. from the beginning. Yeah, I know. So, um, and that's the next topic for me would be like your coaching. Mm. Always when I saw you coaching, I saw you, you're sweating all over, <laughs> you know, like, and you're also like full into it, like as you do a jump, mm -hmm. you're full into uh, the coaching. Can you describe what, what's happening when you coach? Um, uh, 100%, it's 100% jump, um, uh, I want to give people as much as I can and usually it's hard because I don't have the time, <laughs> I would talk, I would, I would talk theoretically, mm. I, I would talk, I would practically and usually it's like uh, 30 minutes change during this while like 24 hour workshops. The best thing I did yeah. because I had the time to. The thing in, in Switzerland? Yes, for the example. Experience. It's, I have, you know? And um, um, hmm. coaching is really, for me personally, it's like, um, it's like philosoph philosophy itself, uh, beside parkour, really. Because it's a lot of responsibility is um, a lot of work, like in parkour there is a hard work and discipline, the same thing is uh, in, uh, in coaching. I can talk generally about that uh, it inspire me, uh, it inspire me to, to, to learn from a people in this way, like going, that's not like one way, also I give everything, because uh, I think a good coach should uh, observe a lot, 
Yeah. And when I say uh, I, much more than just a movement, mm -hmm. but a lot of stuff, you know, emotions, and on, and emotions, uh, interaction, yeah, communication. communication, energy, mm -hmm. something which is okay. Of course, everyone make mistake, and not everyone can see everything. Yeah. But everyone it should be aware, aware, huh? aware of that. Mm -hmm. It, uh, like coaching is um, is another passion. Mm -hmm. Is it a passion for you? Yes. Because I, I think uh, I wouldn't, uh, you know, when I talk about uh, weather, I wouldn't get excited. Yeah. When I talk about parkour, I get yeah. excited, yeah. you can see, and when I talk about coaching, same. I get excited, yes. Yeah. Today, like, Roger, I think it was Roger, like, um, he said, like, you knew that you wanted to, to coach. You know, early in the beginning, you knew what you wanted to do. Was it, did he meant coaching? Like you, you always had this goal, like maybe travel the world and coaching and stuff. Or what does he mean? N not traveling the world yeah. and not uh, coaching others. The point was always yes, coaching myself. Mm -hmm. That was the goal. So I said I always ask myself why, mm -hmm. in physical way, in, like okay, why should I bend down when I do so the shot? If it's low, is it up? Mm -hmm. Uh, why I should oh, okay. use the That's hands yeah. of when I do this, mm -hmm. why I do this, why I do training, why shouldn't I do this kind of training, why should I do this and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. To uh, critical think and to, you know, to also motivate myself. Is there really? a coach you would learn from? What? Is there a coach you want to learn from? You and go to a workshop or maybe a life or death? It's, it's everyday person and everyday life mm -hmm. it's really imagine. yeah it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not about uh, uh, t yeah it's not about the uh, uh, tips it's not about uh, it's uh, if you observe mm -hmm. you can learn from everyone yeah. uh, really but you would go to Bruce Lee yeah mm, you would go to Bruce Lee what? No, I think it's enough. Uh, what what he's been writing in his book yeah. and, and about him, maybe it's uh, like um, uh, there is no secret. You know what I mean? Like yes, there is a method that can maybe speed up something. Like instead of okay, don't do a static stretch instead of this. You know, but there's no shortcuts. Yes. In the end, there is no shortcuts, and uh, if you really want something. What I learned now, in like after years of training parkour, it's a lot about uh, approach and of, of mental side. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, uh, I would say studying, but I was a little bit uh, reading, analyzed, testing people about uh, sportsmen, professional sports, and also the one who quit, stop sports and stuff, because of the motivation, yes. Uh, also, um, about how they, um, how to say? Um, I lost my I lost myself now. Okay, maybe but you maybe will find yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, do you have, guys have a question? For yeah, questions? I actually have a question. Um, so when I think back about in the beginning of how I was teaching, and then came a point when I was in London, and I thought I learned a lot because before I had, didn't have any structure or anything. So there was a big change in my paradigm. For example, in the beginning, I let people jump on lines, which is totally crazy. And I have switched to hopefully don't give that much technical input, but let people make roots and by that uh, see where their weaknesses are and for example, strengths or so, and then build on that. Was there a point in your, let's say, coaching career where you had like a big change in how you taught things? people that you can still remember every day <laughs> no really because um, okay so let's back to the question because I know on the sand and then connect with this um, so I wanted first to teach myself mm -hmm. you know I want to understand how and why that understanding maybe come later mm -hmm. knowing is not enough so no you know I knew but um, the no with the knowledge of universe, I, I could now get, aha, okay, this is what it was. You know what I mean? This is why psychology stuff, 
Mm -hmm. This is the inner motivation. That, okay, so uh, external motivation is not that important in the end, you know, because inner is the one and tough life, and then, okay. Um, parallel, it was teaching the others. Mm -hmm. And this process didn't stop. So, teaching my, myself okay. and teaching the others. Okay. And that's the, the come to yourself always as a student. That's, uh, that's a phrase that everyone uses, yeah, blah, 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 yeah. or whatever. But, but um, uh, I like, uh, first of all, I like it. I, I never heard it so much. Okay. Yeah, but it's just two parallel coaching yeah. all, the, all the time, honestly, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, because if I would say, yeah, I know, uh, I can do all big jumps, I can, uh, then I don't need to coach myself, then why would I train, why would what I want, you know, but myself. The parallel with this, uh, the understanding uh, also, like, parkour and this, it, it wasn't like nowadays, like, parkour is this, 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 when we started. It was different, it was like parkour is this and then it is to be and to last and then it's this and it was changing all the time, which was good because it's, it's push us to think and critically and stuff. Yeah. And, um, and um, so I can't, uh, back to your question, is I can't say yes, um, this. I can say one thing that was maybe a stamp that it was the right way for me, personal, because of the history and how I was influenced through the history, I was um, uh, feeling like a little bit, okay, what you do, you should continue doing, is training with Adidas uh, bec uh, and with the Yamakasi guys. Yes? Yes. Because, you should do? Yeah, because uh, it's, it's not that, um, it's more like, it's not a proof, but it's like, um, uh, like, um, it's stem. It's. I felt it like okay. You didn't uh, uh, went too much either left, it too much either right. You are going like yeah. near the line, you know, you know. But uh, yeah, for for like any um, or either way, I feel that every event, every day when I train with people, uh, you can learn. You know what? And and help and uh, you know. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about that parkour changed a lot, you know, like from to be to last or whatever, um, it changed. Like, how did parkour change uh, now, recently? We are going to Olympic Games. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, we will, for sure, but not um, me, you. <laughs> what, uh, how, how, how does yes. parkour change in the next... What, what's happening next? What, yes. do you, what do you expect? Or? So, so well, I just to explain what changed before, it's definition. People came with a different definition. Mm -hmm. For me, parkour is this. Parkour is to be... What's parkour for you then? Yeah, just, yeah. So, um, this, then uh, then parkour is uh, to at a four, at a till, then at a, at a, uh, different kind of stuff, different kind of stuff. And you need to, um, let's say, that was good because not like, like today. Today, parkour is an efficient way of moving from A to B. But that time, you should tick, 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 mm, mm, you know, and like it's not one, it was. This is what I miss. I will answer to your question. I miss um, what we had uh, like in parkour research stuff. Mm, uh, but more, more maybe like this, talking about emotions while we move, at the, like at the beginning. Oh, it was not talking about what the shoes to wear and stuff, but uh, but what ha you know what happened? It was so good, maybe you know um, some some um, touchable stuff mm -hmm. and untouchable stuff, like also emotions, you know. And um, yeah, what is parkour me for today? That's a good question. I think it's uh, for me. It's really hard to. I, I really yes. I lost the, I lost my definition. I really lost my definition. I don't know what's parkour anymore. Uh, Parkour for me was um, was um, like um, equal to life, equal to challenge. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like in a way of um, um, for the few years was like this. Life is a challenging. Life itself is a mystery and challenge. Mm -hmm. If I apply to this parkour, yes. We, there is a lot of challenges and mystery in every new jump that is coming, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, now, I would also uh, 
yeah, this is like a parkour, my parkour defi like a definition or whatever, but I also go above this and mm -hmm. think also and what we talk already about expression, about the movement in general, what is mm -hmm. a movement, like uh, the need for a movement, like, you know, and uh, there is some interesting stuff that can be um, above parkour, but also related to it mm -hmm. in a way that it was a thing, so parkour was like to me, thing to go to also to all other stuff. I don't know how to say in tram trampoline actually. Yeah. Yeah. A trampoline to go to the art, to go to the philosophy. Mm -hmm. But oh, I, when okay. I say philosophy, not I don't mean like uh, this my philosophy, but reading and studying yeah. what other people like Bruce Lee. Like you, mm, you, you just yes, but more like Socrates, Platon, uh, Jung. As uh, I was interested in uh, psychology a little bit, and I was wanted to you know. Uh, so parkour was in, obviously first it was like moving. And then through this you discover different, yes, different stuff. Yes, and and then the, uh, uh, like, uh, I think I'm really happy because I started with parkour and uh, instead of uh, maybe doing something else because if I would do something else maybe I would stay on that doing something else and now I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm no, doing. I'm I, do, don't, I don't know. You know I'm like doing. I'm doing the life. Yeah. But uh, but you know if you, if your passion would be maybe cooking. You, I, in my opinion, mm -hmm. it could be the same, mm -hmm. exactly the same. If you're passionate about cooking, then you can travel countries, meet people, have, uh, you know, you discover, like, mm, how does it feel like, and then you talk about food and, and communication, and for me it's the same. Like, but, but, sure, but maybe I wouldn't say why I'm cooking, uh, I wouldn't ask why I'm cooking, I wouldn't ask uh, m m one much, the most important question that we don't have an answer, and who we are, as a human beings and living creature, you know, and uh, where we from and where we go, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think uh, that uh, everyday activities um, can. Uh, it's a routine in everyday activities, and you know, I I don't think I will be pushed in this direction to try to go and search for the answer, try to go to uh, explore. I don't know, okay. or maybe and not at that level. Maybe you're right. For, for me, it's 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 a passion. You know, if someone is, mm -hmm. is passionate about graffiti, about dancing, about going to church, like mm -hmm. you know, if you're passionate, I think these questions will open up someone. That for us, you know, I think for us, for, for us, it's, it's it's the movement thing, the parkour thing. Yeah, but but there are, you know, like the week before, there was the gospel singers, and they maybe they find love and all these answers to those questions. It's it's my opinion, yes, but I, for us, you know, I think, I my think language right. my language is movement. So yeah, parkour, I think you're so, right. But yeah, I don't, I, I don't because you, we Makes cannot sense. we cannot say that. Yeah, yeah we don't know. It's relative. I, I think that uh, certain activities or things at a certain point of time might lend themselves to be these kind of door openers to a lot of new stuff, um, because like especially uh, I guess when you start doing parkour, it was still something, uh, there was a lot of stuff going on and you you had to spend a lot of time to figure out what you actually, what this thing actually is that you are doing. There was no Wikipedia article to read and then tutorial to watch and go out and just do it. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because you have to think a lot about, it might be a little bit easier to, like I agree with Philip in general that like, for example, if you're really crazy about cooking, I might start gardening and so mm -hmm. I start learning about mm -hmm. nature and, and about, yeah. and I'm exactly, and I might start That's thinking about a lot of stuff, but uh, I also can just pick up a cooking book, go to the shop mm -hmm. and uh, make a nice meal. And, uh, like, and I guess certain things like parkour yes. might force you more into g going and exploring yes. and opening new, new doors and making new experiences. I totally agree. So I totally agree. I, I made a mistake in the way I could I should say that parkour was this for me. For you, just for you. Yeah. I and, th and that's. I can relate very much yeah, because well. I remember like I was a typical teenager, not knowing what to do, not really passionate about anything, and once I started practicing parkour and being passionate about this, there was there were a lot of other things introduced to my mm -hmm. life that I started to be passionate about. Mm -hmm. So I made the exact same experience starting to like yes. like make a decision about what profession I want to do and starting to spend more time in nature and 
reading of about stuff that I never cared about and so on. Um, I, I don't want to uh, touch this Olympic scene or this talk about this, but I um, I like to talk about competition. Uh, what's your point on competition in parkour? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's make some. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I just asked this yeah, question to many people. What do you think? Too? I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I, I, honestly, I, I, I think you're down bad competition in parkour. I think it's stupid. You just think it's yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know why? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you know. Yes, you, of course. But, I, but now, okay, I know. I can explain <laughs> why I don't uh, like uh, competition. Is uh, when we started the, f the beginning of the talk, I said the uh, difference between people. You know, so how would you measure the yeah. with this kind of freedom? Yeah. So yeah, someone can jump longer, someone can climb better, someone but better. Mm -hmm. It's not better than yourself. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's for me it doesn't make sense to put someone in a box in a box or in a yeah. twenty twenty square meters and I said, okay no, move no. and uh, yes. Why not uh, in climb ups? Yeah. Why why in why in aesthetics only? Mm -hmm. Why not in you Utility. Like Silence of your land. Useful. Yeah. yeah useful. Why not? Uh, you know, because that's a parkour. A lot of freedom of choice and stuff. And first, that. First is uh, the, um, this stuff. Mm -hmm. For me, if you put it in a box and make it too much form, it's, it's, not, it's not it anymore. You yeah. know? For me, it will bend. You know, yeah, it will, it will it, it, somehow it will. I think I studied, I studied sports, mm -hmm. so I had theory of sports, for example, I had a theory of physical education, like a special subject, and it, for me I was really into it, <laughs> because it was interesting to explain the concept that there is, yes, of course, parkour is not only one, but there is no competition. Mm -hmm. In a way of, um, um, don't judge people, yeah. don't judge people. Um, uh, sports, uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I think there are professional sport players who are aware of the same things that we are talking here and the tracers talk, and they are fi fighting all the battles uh, they fight are not with the people, whatever sport is, it's inside. I know that the prof like mm -hmm. maybe the most top one, especially in the individual mm -hmm. sports, not a maybe not a lot percent, mm -hmm. but I, I, I know they are aware and like they are aware of this stuff. Yeah. That uh, generally uh, the the sportsmen, the big professional sports, yeah. or not only professionals, but the ones who are going in or thinking this way, is uh, a lot of egoism, egoist, mm -hmm. which is also problem in parkour. We can talk. Therefore, and uh, let's, uh, count, let's count the YouTube cl likes, <laughs> the clicks, and yes. Uh, and uh, let's see that how also like uh, yeah never mind uh, now because it's a big topic now that ego, maybe yeah. I can with the uh, why guys not all, all but a lot are egoistic and they don't want to go train the girls because they cannot do a jump big blah 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 but what, there is always a way yeah. to train okay. this is what I noticed that girls always go there and guys go there no, maybe it's not anymore but. It's like how I felt it before. Mm -hmm. It's not true anymore. Yeah. But yes, and I had experience in this and how I managed to, to, to do like okay, we can go together, it can be challenging for me, it can be challenging for you. Mm -hmm. Going back to competition. Um, uh, I see a lot of bad stuff in competition, not just in parkour but in uh, in competition. In games game is different, but uh, um, so why is the problem? The problem is, in long term, you have internal motivation, external motivation, and recipe this uh, external motivation, which is like hate, which is when someone started to clap today, I said, why? Either clap everyone, everyone who pushed themselves, whatever, first training, clap, or either don't clap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's a sign for people mm -hmm. to say, okay, so if you are, I'm doing this, I, I you, did clap and I'm put getting, up, yeah. my ego is going and stuff. That's why I said don't clap. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 a lot of time I, I, I mm -hmm. have with people that don't clap or really clap everyone. The first thing. 
You mean by clap everyone that, that if I jumped and people clap or what do you yes. mean by just, yeah. Yes, like I, I did it yeah. and it's oh, it's like what? It's a challenge yeah. you can do it. You don't now do it later. Don't bring speciality in doing one challenge because it's not special if mm -hmm. you can do it. Everyone can do it if they train. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. This big ego for a lot of mm -hmm. people up. That's the problem. Uh, so external is also like, oh yes, ready to go. Money. Also money, middle, whatever. Yeah. You can name it. And in the internal is inside why I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Where, you know, this and for me, and it's proven that internal is the long-term good. Mm -hmm. This is why I was. I talk a lot of friends who are sports. Okay, I said, well, why did you not stop training? Mm -hmm. Why don't you train hard as you trained while you did the competition? Yeah. You, were, you know, because some can continue three times a week, which is cool, and I support be active and stuff. But why don't you now go and lifting and do yeah, some yeah, yeah. stuff instead of just Play like stuff, yeah. for purpose of so. In sports, everything filter and go this way, and I think parkour is yeah. like this. I'm really curious about, like, uh, just for myself, like, um, how long will I go? You know, because mm. I, f I feel the motivation in, inside of me, like, really going this a long way, because I have less external motivation. Mm. You know, I, I just do it for myself. So I go lifting, climbing, jumping, parkour. I have, a I have also this. I think you probably train alone a lot. Yes. Or no, but train alone a lot. Yeah. This is what I did uh, uh, from time to time. And yeah, like you said today on the wall, like you're not used to, to stand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Yeah. yeah because like even we come here uh, uh, it was yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, I was training alone. Yeah. Maybe later come someone, but I was saying um, it's a really honest training. Uh, a real what? Honest, 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 yeah, honest yeah, sorry, yeah. honest. Um, both is good, training with people, training yeah. without people. I don't want to say yeah, only yeah, bit, yeah, but yeah. it's really a bit different. Yeah. And it, you need to be a lot of the, okay, first why I'm do, what I'm doing here, what do I want, you know? Yeah, yeah. Instead of, okay, let's go, let's go yeah, there, yeah. let's go, let's talk, let's... Uh, yeah. And um, it helps a lot. Yeah, I think I, I will do it more again. Because I did it less the last years. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's joyful to train together. It is, and it's it's uh, inspiring. I know what you mean uh, because I train. I used to train a lot alone. Mm. Mm. But also, it became a lot easier to train in company. When I started training, mm. I didn't have a choice. Like yeah. no one yeah. in Berlin, <laughs> I never had to train alone. But when yeah. I started training, if I wanted to see someone, I had to spend like fifty euros and travel an hour or two. Yeah. So, mm. so this can be like uh, training alone for a mental side. It can be also very hard. Honestly, it can be very hard, but it is good to s sometimes. I do it for uh, summary, summary. I say uh, after some time to get out of everything and think what did I do in a parkour way. Like and uh, is there like uh, ego is starting to going too much? Mm. Okay, then that's a good way to because you don't need, you don't you can you need to only prove yourself if you want to prove something and then mm. you say, what do I need to prove? You know. Mm. And I have a last question or last topic. It's about um, parkour parks. How do you stand to? The last, I was expecting we are staying here to tonight. Yeah. And then you, you have to bring. <laughs> I, I, I can. Me, yeah. I will. Um, what, how, what's your point on parkour parks on parkour stuff or obstacle mates for parkour? Um, how, how do you stand to? This? Uh, maybe before I, uh, 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 I'm not for it. I'm not for it in a way of um, it depends how you use it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Like I believe now that there is no uh, good sport for someone. There is only good coach. So uh, is it good or bad or competent or not competent at which level? I mean, if you would. Um, um, if approach is good, if he think you as and coach someone as a human being, mm -hmm. and not only as a, a swimmer, mm -hmm. then he would give you also the ball. He would also give you the parkour to try. It's very hard to incorporate in swimming, but for example, I incorporate ball in my tra in train teaching in other people because I believe that 
wide a range of movement is important. Yes. Uh, there is a reason also why I use a ball just like scientifically, mm -hmm. but also for example for kids. I don't want to do them parkour only. That's specialization. That's yeah. That's bad for them because I know. So I want to do them with the ball, with the, 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 the different kind of running backward, running, you know, like yeah. as much as I can. Yeah. So Parku Park is the same. The, I feel that depending how you use it and how much you use it. Yeah, I see. I honestly now I see it as a obstacle, a different spot, and nothing more. So imagine that you would go to one spot uh, <laughs> in a year, two hundred people, two hundred times. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with that. With that, mm. why? And people always go there. Yes, yes. Yeah, why? Yeah. Because there is no adaptation. One of the yeah. point view, point uh, uh, big uh, definitely uh, test, like not a test, but uh, like a thing in in parkour to in progress is adaptation. So you can say I am doing. I would take plastically like uh, so the sharp precision here, <laughs> but what if I go there and there is a rail, rail, and I do the same? It's yeah. different. So go if it's wall, it's wall yeah. like this. It's not the same if you go like this and the wall go like this mm -hmm. and do the same technical principle stuff or whatever, you know. Yeah. So uh, try to find like I said it in, from a game, gain experience. This is what I use now, like for this adaptation. Mm -hmm. You need to go do adaptation of all kind of stuff, yeah. or material, not just the yeah. walls or rails. You need to have a, to feel the to feel the tree, yeah. to feel the tree here, to feel the barefoot, to yeah. go the, all kind of stuff. For, yeah. for me, I, I I realize now I get the most motivation about this discovery. Like just go and discover, and then mm. you stumble upon a challenge, and then you didn't knew that you want mm. to do it. That's cool. That's, that's what I really like. For me, this is parkour, like discovery. Yeah. At the beginning, we did this a lot, right? We yeah, remember to. exploring. We only I found this. myself, I found myself yeah. this, uh, that I go to a spot, like a training center. It's a spot. It doesn't matter if it's outside, it's, but it's already, you know, like a street mecca yeah, yeah, yeah. or uh, uh, some, uh, you know, uh, walls in Berlin, for example, or, you know, or my hometown, like, and this is like a parkour. Spot. Yeah, it's yeah. stupid. It's not. This is what I, really like. Playground is everywhere. Like, yeah, it's definitely we should true. try go found. Really, yeah. this is this is what I noticed Actually, also. It's very true. Huh? The things that you might criticize about the parkour park apply perfectly to any of the spots that are yeah. like the nice spots to go to. It's yeah. the same issues. That's actually. what I said. I see it as a spot. Would I train there mm, uh, a lot, or I would spend my time all day? No. If I would something specifically want to say, I would go there. Maybe, but I, I, it's, uh, it, it, you can adapt to everything going in parts. I can prove because you don't have a water. Do you have yeah, a parkour yeah. par water in parkour park? Yeah. No, no, for trees, me that's no, no dream. That for me that's parkour also, <laughs> like yeah. obstacle. Like, so, yeah. you know where is the limit? <laughs> but, uh, uh, but because some people say like, if parkour parks are totally okay because you can be creative and you can do everything. Some yes. Say. Not everything. <laughs> not, not everything. Yeah. You cannot adapt. Yeah. O only if you would made so much stuff. But it's impossible to make perfect parkour park. Yeah. Because imagine how like going to lease is differently. Maybe in a way of uh, it's not different. I believe it's a rail is a rail. Mm -hmm. No. But the situation of the, how it's they are put mm -hmm. are maybe differently or it's more scary because yeah. they're high and stuff. But to me, honestly, I see it as other spot. I don't have any need. I, I, what happened to me that I was in Copenhagen, and we, they, they move and they show us like starting to go to park, to other parts. Yeah, park. yeah. And we <laughs> said, okay, um, should we go somewhere to train outside <laughs> also? Like, I feel something else instead of concrete, gray yeah. wall and mm -hmm. rail, which is the same. I had the same thing. And because I wanted to feel Copenhagen some days ago, not just the park here. Because two years ago I had the same, you know, like, I don't know, let's, maybe it's like the same book, you know? <laughs> I want to discover, I want to feel Copenhagen. What are your, your questions that you are thinking about parkour lately? Or maybe because a lot of questions are bringed in the last two days because of where we are and what we did. But in the last maybe month, or is there some topic that you were thinking? It doesn't need to be uh, like, is it a physically, mentally uh, competition, uh, Olympic Games, or whatever. But uh, what I recently 
think about it about parkour. Mm. I have to think about it now. It's nothing like I don't know. I've been thinking obviously a lot about the competition stuff competition. also, mm -hmm. and I think it's really interesting mix with the. Um, the diversity stuff that people start to talk a lot about because as you said before with the what's competition like for somebody it's this for somebody it's this and I have to laugh a lot because people always talk about fair competition and comparison and then you have these things like people getting sex changes and starting uh, on YouTube if you sit there you just need to decide you can sit there no you can't yeah. Yeah. yeah but then you're online <laughs> <laughs> People and you can talk with us, please. Do a, do a sex change, and then they start to compete in a different thing, and then everybody gets upset because suddenly a man wins in the women category, and suddenly, <laughs> and this is something, it's so entertaining to me to watch everybody like, like fighting about all this stuff to to, uh, to to keep competitions fair and everything, and then I think like, okay, so who's going to win the hundred meter sprint? It's going to be Hussein Bolt because he has a genetic advantage and the training camp it was there at the right time at the right moment and I feel like it's ridiculous where's the fairness where's where's this more fair than like somebody getting a, a sex change and winning because they once were a man or something and like this whole comparison stuff and I feel like sorry the like, people talk about so much ridiculous stuff with this and they're missing the bigger point that all of this like compa uh, comparison stuff is just so ridiculous, and I don't know. And there's so much conflicts around these kind of things. Yeah, just coming to my mind, it, uh, what I always like like to also say about because you said uh, comparison, like uh, compare mm -hmm. people, uh, is um, um, like you say, you, when you saying you saying bold, is I always tell people that um, uh, maybe you cannot run as you saying bold or swim like Mark Phelps or uh, do something like a uh, professional like professional top because they are specialized but you can do all kind of yeah. stuff very good mm -hmm. you can swim very good you can shoot the ball very good if you practice if you yeah. really and this is this is what I my aim is too maybe uh, yeah, I, I, yeah I want to be in movement there is a lot of to explore and yeah, yeah. and to, to enjoy it, no? yeah and uh, about yeah about the competitions um, yeah I think yeah, it will come that's not the question because capital yeah. <laughs> it's how we value this, not we, but how uh, society value the stuff, which is um, which will like everything bring something good and something and more bad. That's the problem because this is how I see stuff for parkour. I stop. There is no absolutely true, and there is no every something which is one hundred percent good and one hundred percent bad. But I feel that competition is a uh, much bad than good, like I feel that workshops are more good than bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because there is always a bad stuff also in, in the workshop, even yeah. the one, 10%, 20, doesn't matter. So, yes, it's, uh, it's um, what I feel said, and I think I write it a little bit, one post about this, I wanted to write, because to me, uh, this is, um, I'm sad, because I remember the talk 10 years ago about this, 12 years ago also, um, is um, now not a lot of people speak like uh, that uh, uh, no one speak that there should not be competition everyone said people should work with fig yeah. yeah really and a lot of people yeah but okay competition are okay so, like or they're already existing yeah, but not n not a lot. There are communities and people who said, okay, but still there is no comp it shouldn't be competition. Everyone says uh, we should be part of it. We don't want that uh, uh, fig uh, people who doesn't yeah. train them. But if everyone would be invited, they would do it. But I think that's a bit sad. I don't, want sad. To I, don't think, uh, I don't think that's. I feel like there was a weird situation 
where a lot of people were thinking everybody is fighting for the same goal yeah, when yeah, actually yeah. they aren't like there's some who are like yeah, yeah. working towards okay we like there were some very few who supported fig and what they're doing but then there were a lot who might want to have competition but not with fig and then there were quite a few who don't want competition and who were also opposing fig mm -hmm. and a lot of people didn't realize that uh, like probably about the same amount of people were against competition and fig and pro competition and fig and they just felt like oh we're all in common we all work towards the same goal and they lost sight that uh, actually like i think maybe in a couple of weeks it's going to be more apparent apparent again because the international Parkour federation in the us is also no talking with the Olympic Committee or FIG or something, no, 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 but the Olympic Committee again to do Olympics and then uh, the split is going to happen again because then people will disagree again because so more people will support them than FIG. And and they, it's so, yeah, but, but I, I'm, I'm not scared about what we, what, uh, about parkour, it's, parkour is, um, is it like non-competitive also? Because uh, I traveled uh, and I met uh, a lot of people in communities Mm. Which are it's it is it, 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 it's the same spirit, and uh, it will live. Maybe it won't be big, yes, but there is a for example, uh, there is a kiddo who is not uh, competitive at all, mm. for example. But also you have a karate, and they I, I, and what was funny, like maybe I was training like I don't know, few weeks ago in my hometown. I can remember. Then one guy. I don't know how I start talking with someone after training or whatever, and he said, "No, it wasn't training. It was just me walking something. Never mind." And start start on talking with him, and he said, oh, "Yeah, I do karate, but you know, I don't do for. I we have a CF, but we are not in competition stuff. And but he didn't know that I am training parkour non competition yeah. My view on this. <laughs> Great. He had to explain himself. Yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, so there is in karate also, yeah, yes. And of course, a much more uh, bigger would be the the uh, performance, uh, fancy, cool, tricky way, which it will be competition in blah, 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 flying everywhere. There. But as long as there is um, um, other ways to be. Existing to be shown to kids, people, and so yeah. yeah. But I think this will really survive a lot because um, uh, I have a motto for our association class: the parkour for everyone. Uh, in a way that, um, and I think you also do this: is that, that we teach parkour for everyone, mm -hmm. also for the one who will never be, uh, never trained that much, so long uh, to go to to measure with someone, you know. But they still enjoy the movements, you know, so they will stay training. That's why I'm not scared that those people will stay. They will be even most of the people actually will be this. In, in a way of there is a, a recreation stuff. This is a Eastern terminology because we made a difference between sport, recreation, and physical education. But uh, um, so in this re recreation part, it, it can be serious training. That's not a question. It's just that you know when someone who is who is um, who didn't train any sport and come in fifties, uh, forties, or thirties, he, he won't even think to go to competition, but he will yeah. enjoy the moment, yeah, enjoy what he can get. Yeah, and this is our power. Yeah, Th this not the, well, the that's a nice not, perspective. not the ten, not even ten percent. Maybe Less. one percent will compete and. Uh, 20% or 30 maybe will uh, train for that but I think uh, most of the people actually will, will stay in this area work and enjoy yeah. yes and, and, and working on themselves especially if we uh, promote those values and those mm -hmm. stuff then yeah. they will say okay I, I, I like and in every country in literally every country there is uh, one person or community or communities that uh, s uh, share the same spirit yeah. as uh, we do. I just hope that the uh, the community values will not dilute too much through competition because when more people, you know, if uh, parkour is on TV, more people will come and you know, like for myself, 
I, I go to Copenhagen, I write, can I, uh, can I sleep somewhere? I need someone to train. And uh, I will now I find people, but I, I'm worried about that this will maybe uh, change. Mm -hmm. Because if I imagine, like, I'm a skateboarder, and I want to go to Copenhagen skateboarding, you know, like... It will you know, be, it, it, yes, it's but different. it will be a bit different with parkour because uh, the essence of parkour is the freedom. As we said, to go wherever you want, you choose. You want to go to Copenhagen, to there. To, it will always be people training outside. Yeah. I think it will be very that's hard. That, that's for sure. Yeah. And those kind of people will accept you. Yeah. I'm, for, I'm pretty. I'm not pretty sure. They will accept you and like, um, yeah, come, let's meet, let's uh, talk, let's train. I have um, maybe a topic I, I was thinking about the last mm -hmm. month about my coaching. You know, like um, because I coach only alone, I'm pretty alone from my coaching uh, in Cologne, and um, I'm pretty lost because I don't know how to build up my trainings. You know, I, I think they're kind of similar, and um, I'm I'm losing ideas. You know, like to really get more input. I would like to know how you um, plan your trainings. How do you get ideas? How do you Mm, I, I think maybe it would be interesting that you already have a tools, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some other tools that we heard also to... to, yeah. to I, of course, I, course I have course. like library and stuff. Yes. Um, but how, how do you do it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated because... Um, just, just, I didn't know okay, how, so, how, how so do you coach in the week? We have, uh, one, uh, we have five days a week. Uh, not a, like uh, maybe 10 classes, 18 mm -hmm. classes, something like this. Wow. But I don't mm -hmm. uh, do all the classes. Yeah. Um, so, for me, first, the question is why is there a classes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all start from this. And what do I want from it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? I don't want to maybe answer now because, you know, blah, 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 blah. But what do I want mm -hmm. with it? I want to present uh, them what is. Parkour. Mm -hmm. So parkour is very wide. So I go with the wide, with wideness, with a uh, mm -hmm. big I range see. of stuff. This yeah. is why I use also the ball, the, the blind, the tape, the, uh, no, the hard training, repetition, training in winter, training barefoot, blah blah blah. Everything. That uh, periodization, periodization of training. That means um, putting the. the like a plan, a long, term plan. a long term plan is uh, the something that is very flexible. Mm -hmm. It should be very flexible because even if the professional sports have a flexible, you know, there is what they okay, flexible in a way of this, you know. Uh, yes, there is a time of the year when they don't have a competition, or when they have a competition, they cannot do uh, some kind of training, for example, in the weights, you know, but they can do something else, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so what I mean, the flexible part is that I, you don't put uh, in the sportsman what he will do in six months at, at the training, exactly thing what he will do, what exercise, you know, because yeah. maybe he will be injured, maybe he will be tired and stuff. But you have uh, general stuff, like uh, we will work on strategy, we will work on this, right? but in the strategy there is a lot of there, you know, in uh, uh, physical ability, like we will work on force, uh, and this is a prioritization to put everything in the right order mm -hmm. through the year and to make it the biggest performance in the most um, uh, most important matches or whatever you do in the sport like to have to have a, this uh, is it a plateau or peak mm -hmm. so this is why they use super compensation for example to like uh, and then then when is the competition here so like, oh boom and the maximum performance is when you know for a sport. Mm -hmm. Parkour is a different because it's not a... It doesn't they, have a point. Really. It doesn't have a point. That's the biggest problem. That's you a big, think so, yeah? Yeah, that's, a, that's, a biggest, that's so the biggest problem for planning. This, is an external, this external goal is not, it's not there. For yeah. you can be something, yeah. for you can be something else, yeah. for you can be... Uh, but, but I said to my... To every, like, okay, I have white stuff I want to present mm -hmm. and more. I would use sometimes for a different stuff when through the winter mm -hmm. when it's maybe we could not do 
you can work on abilities stuff mm. more you know uh, we, we could work um, on uh, some more specific stuff but um, I need I think it's very important that you um, you uh, know uh, persons who you teach to like in long-term coaching mm -hmm. know really well mm -hmm. but knowing really well it's not only like um, knowing a <laughs> name and knowing on also psychology stuff but knowing also like um, how he approached the obstacle what are what yeah. what, what what he should What's work more what is the weak is chain yeah, and, yeah. you know and stuff and and, and that, that is hard in parkour for yeah. me like to have uh, 15 people yeah. Different needs, Total. different uh, stuff. Uh, so yeah. Different, yeah. Diff so, yes, you need to I make mean, some yeah. plans. You need to... to Individual to plans use and general plans. Yes. Fit together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to, to do... Um, you need to put it like in a way of... Uh, uh, not only what they want, mm. but what they need. Mm. Mm. Yes, this is a bit also yeah. very important. Yeah. Because Good. <laughs> because as you a know? trainer you have to set goals yeah so maybe i can take three things now from it like make long-term plans setting goals and yeah this to make individual uh individual um you know but on the opposite sometimes as you know it's pretty cool to, to train without the goal yeah. right mm -hmm. that's also because what i told you now is a science for science but I'm not doing only that. Yeah. Personally, I go and train without goal. Yeah. You know? No, I, tr I, I, I do. Which is I call playing. But I, I, will take this, I, I will take, maybe yeah. I will take this now mm. as a motivation. Because working on a goal, like two years ago, I had um, you can a even planche, talk. A planche. You, don't, you have a people who already train. You can set the goal with them. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fun. Yeah, no. I, I, I have a training where, where it's about the responsibility and to and coaching others so <laughs> not often but once a year we come and they give challenge to me mm -hmm. so yeah they think oh, okay you can jump from building to there which doesn't make sense because, like i would say to them okay so maybe yesterday i could tell you okay go and do you know like this jump other jump some stupid stuff but let's think about me like this is the way but because you know also between you know and make them be aware what it means uh, the responsibility of, of and uh, taking care mm. of someone uh, using the right uh, actions using the right exercise using the, i don't know english words for uh, term in mm. training and blah blah stuff you know mm. and also maybe it's more telling about the values mm -hmm. than you know they may, may think about uh, what. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think you can think. Uh, yeah, it's up to you a lot. Also, I think I think this the coaching happens because of your personal practice. Mm. Probably. Yeah. Probably. It's, it's really possible. Yeah. If you work on there, yeah. I have a, also one a hypothesis or theory, which of course is extreme, but I will say it because I I want and I want the people to <laughs> a bit. Is a, I, I think that uh, the person who doesn't train parkour shouldn't teach parkour. You think that's yes. controversy? No, I think no. it's extreme. I do, oh, you think it's extreme? Yes. But I'm... I'm, I'm I think so too. Or at least has so trained parkour for a long time. Uh, it's yeah, a very common... Excuse me, monsieur. Excuse me, monsieur. Uh, obligation. Obligation. Uh, 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 it's okay. Hmm. Better. Better. Uh, the best. Maybe we can push up uh, tomorrow. I think so. Yeah. No, yes, but I, I, I go I, tomorrow. I'm tomorrow. I'm I cry. <laughs> 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 uh, tomorrow I go. Now your body chance what you what you eat. Uh, oh, we eat together. It's abnormal. No, 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 no. He is the animal. No, no, no. Why? No, it's not true. You know. No, it's you. Look your hand. You're bigger. What? No, no, no. It's not normal. It's abnormal. I'm not. Two here, go far here, go. It's not, not. No, 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 no. No, he eats like. <laughs> I didn't forget in bed we're eating. Maybe. Uh, la, 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 la. Good eat. <laughs> good <laughs> training, good eating. This is how I work. I think it's the best. <laughs> uh, I can 
going to take a yeah, coffee with you. Yeah. It's possible you have a bit of bread and cheese because we don't eat uh, tonight. You should not eat. Wait, wait. I think I you will don't eat before. I, 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 I don't know anything about that. So thanks, man. Thank you for the messages and positive feedback you sent me for the podcasts. I hope to make some valuable and lasting content for the Paku community. Thanks for listening to this episode of Pcast with Boki. If you like the podcast, please share it with your friends and interested people. Goodbye.